much for joining me. Going to do a full body flow to get some energy moving around. Um, yeah, so let's open the body up. Some dynamic, some dynamic playful movements and see what we can shift. We definitely woke up in a funk today. I went in for the news rather than getting centered. I went in for the news while still in bed, tisk tisk. And uh, yeah, I got myself in quite a funk. And then started, you know, going through the loop of like, oh, you know better than that. What were you thinking? Kind of like that self-shaming. And then finally I got outside. I kept being like, I need to do, I need to do some movement practice and um, get in the sunshine. And it took me a little bit to finally get out here, but here I am. It's a beautiful day. And yeah, I want to move some energy around, get realigned in my body. So then I can interact in, um, interact with the world in a, in a more graceful way. Yeah. Let's go ahead and begin. And it's so funny that we often know what we need and it takes us a little bit to get there sometimes. Um, it's interesting. It's one thing to know what we need and it's another thing to implement and to cultivate it. So I'm kind of musing on that, but here we are. Thanks for joining me and thank yourself for joining you. Let's begin at the top of your mat or in the grass, wherever you are. Press down through your feet. The feet can be together, if you'd like, or they can be hip distance apart. But press down, lengthen the tailbone down and lengthen the back of the neck up. So we're really finding an extension here. And find more space between the ribs and the hips. Turn the palms forward. Roll the shoulders back. Let the breath fill up your body and release. Mountain pose. And so often, you know, we need to stand up to ourselves for ourselves be in these this patterning or these shame spirals and cultivate the space cultivate the capacity to do what we know is beneficial to us because whenever we can stay aligned and we can show up more more present and more capable and more productive in the world there's so much going on in the world right now that we want to be able to be to be productive and to be present. So this work is not only for us, but it ripples out. Bring the hands to heart center. We'll begin to move and breathe together. Inhale here. Exhale, bend the knees, interlace the fingers, and we're gonna push the arms forward. The gaze can go down, so the back of the neck is still long here. Put the weight into the heels. Yeah. Inhale, press down through the heels to the feet as we stand all the way up. A slight back bend, not a lot. Pull the belly towards the spine so we're not cranking in the low back. So belly towards the spine, just a very slight back bend. And then exhale, cactus the arms. Come down really slow like you're moving through mud. Hands connect behind the back. Roll the shoulders back. The fist come down as the crown of the head lengthens up. So really long and then have some softness in the knees. We're gonna pour the heart forward as the sit bones move back, come all the way down. Let the hands drape over. You can have as much bend in the knees as you'd like. And then release the hands and the knees. The hands can kind of swoop along the grass. We'll come all the way up to stand and exhale, hands, heart center. We'll do that a couple more times. Exhale, interlace the fingers, push the palms forward, the gaze is down. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. So crown of the head, tailbone moving in opposite directions. And then push down through the feet to lift up, slight back bend, pull the belly in to protect the low back and then cactus the arms, move them down slowly with resistance till they interlace behind the back, grab opposite fingers.
fingers. Roll the shoulders back. Downward energy in the feet and the fists. Crown of the head reaches up. Bend the knees as we pour forward. One breath in. And one breath out. Release the hands that can graze along the ground. Come all the way up to stand. Arms lift up. And exhale, hands, heart center. We'll do this twice more, but with breath and move a little bit quicker. So exhale, bend the knees. Palms come forward. Inhale, push into the feet as we lift up. Exhale, cactus the hands as they clasp behind the back. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, find length. Exhale, pour forward. And inhale, release the hands as we swoop all the way up. And exhale, hands, heart center once more. Exhale, bend the knees, fist forward, gaze down. Inhale, big push, push into the feet as we lift up, slight back bend. And exhale, cactus the arms, interlace the hands. Inhale, broaden collarbones, open the heart. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, this time the hands are going to plant. We're going to back with the right foot. The back knee comes down. Beautiful. Scissor the thighs just a little bit. Inhale, cactus the arms, open the heart. And then exhale the left hand the hip or to the floor. Wave the arm forward and back. Inhale, come forward into a lunge. The arm waves. Stretch. The hand can be on a block too. Exhale, wave back into an arch and draw some half split. Inhale, come forward. all this time the right hand plants and take the right hand off the side of the mat make it a little bit uh, more space between the hand and the left foot left hand comes to the knee and lift the back knee up as well so we're going to take a little twist here sink the hips find some sway and some wiggle to be able to find some spots that need a little extra breath, extra love. And then check it. The right knee is gonna come un behind the left ankle. So we're gonna come up and take a seat, yeah? We'll take a seated twist. Spiral towards the left. With the right hand, you can pull the left knee in. So you're making that equal opposition. You're pulling in together. Gaze over the left shoulder, press down through the sit bones, lift up to the crown of the head. So still lots of things happening here. And slowly release, plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. So first downward facing dog. Find some sway, find some wiggle. And inhale, wave forward, plank pose. Exhale, bring the knees down, wave back, child's pose. Keep the toes tucked, tuck the chin. Inhale, wave forward. And we're gonna come all the way forward into plank pose. So lift the knees up. Stay here for a round of breath in. And exhale, slight bend in the knees as you push back downward facing dog. Let's do that again. Inhale, wave forward, plank pose. Exhale, knees come down, child's pose. Tuck the chin to the chest. We're going to unwind, come all the way forward into plank pose. Inhale, find length through the heels and the crown of the head. And then exhale, bend the knees as you shift back downward facing dog. Beautiful. Begin to walk the feet forward slowly. Ragdoll. Bend the knees, find sway, find wiggle. And soft bend the knees and we'll roll up to stand. Lift the arms up and exhale, hands to heart center. We'll move to the other side. So exhale, interlace the fingers, 
push the palms forward, sink the hips back. Inhale, press through the feet, lift all the way up and back, slight back bend. And exhale, cactus the arms, interlace the hands. Open the heart, fists move down as the crown of the head lengthens. And exhale, fold forward, lead with the heart as you come down. On an inhale, plant the hands. Take a step back with the left foot this time. Exhale, bring the back knee down. You can scissor the thighs for, uh, to, to get square. And then inhale, we'll lift the arms up. Lift them up and cactus them. Exhale, right hand to the hip, to the block or to the ground. We're gonna take this big side body stretch here. Spiral the heart open. Be sure not to dump into the low back. So we're still wanting to keep the belly strong here. Exhale, we're gonna to begin to straighten the front leg as we swoosh, swoosh the left arm back. It helps if you can think that or say it. Inhale, swoosh forward, lunge. And exhale, coming back, exhale. Inhale, come forward and open, maybe even cactusing the top arm. And exhale, come back, bow forward once more. Inhale, come up. And exhale, left hand on the outside of the left side of the yoga mat. Bring the left knee up, right hand to the left knee, and we're going to twist open. So spiral the ribs open towards the right. So I'm kind of shifting the weight. I'm kind of going into a whole circle here, getting some movement. And then left knee is going to come behind right ankle. So we'll take that step up and take a seat and take a twist. So pulling in the right knee and pulling the into the thigh. So we're bringing them in together. Gaze back, press down through the sit bones, lift up through the crown of the head, finding lots of space between the ribs and the hips. Slow, steady breath. Staying in the present moment. Releasing tension, releasing past frustrations and mental arguments. Just come into right now, into the body right now. What are you feeling? What are the sensations? Slowly unwind, plant the hands. We step back, downward facing dog. And twice we'll go through this little vinyasa. Inhale, wave forward, plank pose. Exhale, bend the knees, arch the back as we sway back. Child's pose, chin to the chest, wave forward. We're gonna end up in plank pose. Inhale, long line of energy. Exhale, slight bend in the knees. We push back, downward facing dog again. Inhale, wave forward, plank pose. Exhale, knees come down, send the hips back, child's pose. Chin towards the chest, wave forward, plank. Inhale, and exhale, slight bend in the knees as we push back, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg lifts. Bend the knee, open the hip. Take a couple rounds, big circles here. And then square the hips off. Exhale, knee to nose, press the ground away, find lots of a uh, curl curve in the spine. So lots of space between the heart and the floor. Heel comes towards the booty. Inhale, reach up and back, tripod down dog. Again, exhale, knee to nose, create lots of space here. And then take the right ankle over the left knee, press back into a figure four downward dog. So bend the left leg, so you're creating a shelf for the, uh, for the right foot. It should feel really nice in the hip. You can press the weight into the right hand or to the left hand and hips a little bit too and kind of feel into where adhesion is. And we're gonna come into a side plank variation. So we're gonna place the heel down towards the right, come into the right hand and then move the leg into a tree pose. Or sorry, an eagle pose. So it's wrapping around the bottom leg, reaching towards the top of the mat, and then unwind, fall in triangle. So unwind that bottom leg, press it out, and then cactus this top arm, open up. We're gonna take a seat. 
spiral around towards the left. Left hand comes up, right arm, left hand comes out to the side, right hand comes up. Finally, inhale, exhale, fold forward over the left leg. Inhale, lengthen, pull heart forward, exhale, fold. Once more like this. Inhale, lengthen, reach heart forward and fold. Let's come all the way up. We're gonna spiral all the way around. Plant the hands, press into the ground, bring the knee back into the chest. Inhale, tripod down dog, reach up and back. Exhale, this time we'll step all the way through. So you really round the back so you're able to step through. That's why we're doing that. And then we're gonna come into a warrior two. So plant the back heel down, open up warrior two. You can take a moment, any adjustments that you need with the legs, with the feet, roll the shoulders back, sink the hips low. Maybe come up onto the right toes. Let's take a reverse warrior. Just feels nice, some more activation here. And then exhale, we're coming to rainbow warrior. You may have done this with me before, maybe not. So we're gonna reach up and back and then begin to straighten the front leg. We're gonna bend the back leg as we push everything towards the back of the mat. So again, there's this kind of swoop energy. Inhale, come forward and back into reverse warrior. So I'm gonna take both hands back this time. I'm still coming up onto the toe if you'd like that. And then exhale, rainbow warrior. Inhale, come all the way up and back. Once more, sink the hips low. Exhale, rainbow warrior. And inhale, crescent lunge. So we're gonna come all the way forward, twist the hips, uh, moving forward. You can have a slight bend into the back knee and look how I have a big arch here. I'm gonna bend into the back knee, pull my ribs back. So this is gonna be a much more integrated pose. Hands to heart center. Inhale, take a twist over towards the right. So the left elbow comes into the right knee. I'm gazing over, actively pressing the hand into hand, leaning back into the shoulders. We're gonna take a big step up into a twisted chair pose. So the left foot is gonna meet the right. You can gaze down, take a big step up. Pose, sink the hips low. And exhale, forward fold. Beautiful. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, bend the knees down. And we're gonna reach the arms forward. Let the hips come all the way down. We're gonna roll it back. Feet come over, plow pose. Just for a moment. Inhale. And roll forward, cross the ankles, plant the hands, downward facing dog. And a different way to come in. Inhale, way forward, plank pose. If that didn't work for you, then Either you can try it again or just completely ignore it, just doing something different. Exhale, bring the knees down, child's pose. Inhale, way forward, we'll meet in plank pose. Really thinking about those energy arrows going forward and back. And then bend the knees, booty up and back, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, bend the knee, open the hip. I'm making some big circles here. Play around with putting the weight in one hand and then the other, feeling the differences. And then square the hips, exhale knee to nose, really press the uh, ground away here. Push the back of the heart up, pull the heel into the glute. Inhale, up and back, tripod. Exhale, knee to nose. And then figure four, downward dog. Be sure to make a shelf with your right leg. So bending the knee, making a shelf. Slow, steady breath. And then bring the back heel down to the left side, putting the weight into the left hand. We'll open up into an eagle pose, side plank. So maybe the leg wraps once or twice, spiraling the heart open. 
and then slowly bottom leg reaches out into a fallen triangle. Press and lift, maybe cactusing this top arm. Finding space and exhale, sink the hips. Spiral the heart all the way around towards the right foot. Plant the right hand out to the side. Left arm lifts up, create space and exhale, fold forward. Two rounds of breath. Inhale, lengthen, pull heart forward. Exhale, fold. Again. Inhale, make space. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up. Spiral all the way back to the top of the mat. Plant the hands. Press the ground away, knee to nose. And inhale, tripod down dog. Exhale, step in between the hands. We open up, warrior two. Take a moment, actively pressing down through both heels, through both feet, not just the heels, through the feet. Sink the hips down, arms come out. Maybe come onto the front toes if you want just a little bit extra. And inhale, reverse warrior. So we're gonna move into this rainbow warrior. So we're gonna wave the arms forward as the front leg straightens, back knee bend, push it back. Inhale, come forward all the way back. Takes like a little bit to get used to. And then exhale, come forward and wave it off the back of the mat. Inhale, reverse. And exhale, rainbow warrior. And inhale, crescent lunge. So this time we turn all the way toward the top of the mat. Bend the back knee, tuck in the low ribs. This is protecting the low back. Find a little bit of buoyancy here. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Act, press hand into hand. Then we'll lift the arms up, begin to take a twist over towards the left. Right elbow pressing into the outer left thigh. Lean back slightly into the shoulders. This is a challenging pose here. Even more challenging transition coming. Gaze at the left foot. We're gonna take the right foot to meet the left foot. Step up. chair twist. Sink the hips back a little bit more. Press knee into knee, lean back into the shoulders a little bit more. One more inhale and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Fold it out once more. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, sink the hips down, spread the knees. Again, we're reaching forward booty reaching back. So we're gonna roll into plow pose. So slowly roll back. Hands down, up and over. Be sure that you're just listening here, not looking. We don't wanna turn the neck. And if this is giving you any pain, then just come out. If something doesn't work in the body, let it. Sometimes we can learn how to do it a different way, or we need to There are some things that we can do it, and then sometimes so. find that. Back to the mid back to where we're up on the feet, the shoulder and the back head, which are all pressing down into the ground. And then we're gonna glide. Like gliding the spine up and down. Own breath. To each side. So I'm just taking the easy twist. I'm gonna not hooking the legs first, just laying them over towards the right. 
I'm having a little bit of low back trouble right now, so that's why I'm scaling back a little bit. So definitely if you want to make this deeper, then go for it. And And roll onto your side, bring yourself all the way up. Let's come into a seat. Bring the hands to the, you can sit cross-legged on the ground or I'm sitting up on my, up on my knees. And I'm just gonna take a moment and feel into the space that you've created. Anything lingering, any creaks, cracks in the nooks and crannies. Just do a little, do a little wiggle here. Get the head involved, and get the elbows involved, make it be weird. So it's especially the ways that we don't normally move that we can really find some stuff in. So just really kind of wiggling it. And then we come to stillness. Just take a few rounds of breath. And thank you for practicing with me. I really needed this, really needed to get into the body. I think a lot of us, I hear from a lot of you all, we get so stuck into the head. And so it's completely, it's normal. It's a human thing. We get stuck up there in the past, in the future, and worries and fears. It can be such medicine to move, to put that on pause for a moment, to move down into the feeling body. So. Thank you for showing up for your practice today and thank you for letting me be a part of it. Let's bow forward to seal our practice. Together we say namaste. <sighs> Let me know what you all thought about that. If that was good, that felt good in your body. Um, yeah, thanks for continuing to let me be a part of your practice. It's, yeah, it's such a gift, such a gift. If you want to learn more about me, um, coldchanceyoga.com. I have all kinds of things coming up. Uh, the retreats from 2020 have all been shifted to 2021. So maybe some pre-planning involved. If uh, you'd like to practice live, we've shifted them over. And also check out um, Emerge Online Recovery Exploration. So for those of my those of my friends that are um, at the intersection of exploring yoga and recovery, uh, sobriety recovery, well, addiction recovery, <laughs> looking to explore sobriety, then I've been working on something for you as well. So that should be up on the website too. Lots of love and see you all on your mat. Ciao.